million American households are seeing a sharp cut in how much they can spend on food this month. Temporary pandemic assistance came to an end in February, which means benefits from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, known as SNAP, are dropping by about $90 a month for individuals and $250 or more for families. The cut comes as food prices in the U.S. continue to rise, and without the extra help, many people will go hungry. Unfortunately, I have no hunger. I'm pretty familiar with hunger. And it's not a good feeling, you know. That's Teresa Calderas. She's 63 and lives in Colorado Springs. Calderas says the extra SNAP benefits allowed her to eat right for the first time in many years. Before that... I've run out of money pretty much for the middle of the month. Calderas has been disabled for many years. I have chronic pain. I have arthritis, fibromyalgia, and degenerative disc disease. So I'm just not able to work. And I was getting about $20 a month. And the extra amount that I ended up getting was about 280 a month. And that helped me tremendously. I could be more like when I felt like I needed to eat. And she's noticed a big difference in her overall health. You know, I feel better. I have a little more energy. My nails look better. <laughs> they were real split, cracked, and dried, and I noticed having eaten fresh vegetables and meats, you know, they look a lot better. They're not pretty, but they're healthier, and I think your your nails say a lot about what your health is like. Even leading up to the cut in her SNAP benefits this month, Calderas was struggling under the rising cost of living. When the rent and the inflation went up, it really hurt, you know, buying a gallon of milk, a lot of people don't really give it another thought, but there are lots of us out here who can't buy a gallon of milk when we need it. And so I'm just going to ask them to go back to not eating very much, about a meal a day. 